Ready. Okay. Uh, Chance the Rapper won three Grammys despite uh, the project that he put out that won the Grammy was ineligible to win a Grammy because uh, they didn't consider free projects um, uh, uh, credible things to win a nomination. So uh, he wrote it for speaking is to understand a pop culture figure. I'm credible because I've been a fan for uh, <laughs> since 2013. Um, coming up on the four year anniversary, it's real cute uh, this summer. Um, <laughs> And every time he tweets, I get a notification so I can see it, and I'm really up to date on him all the time. Uh, so my thesis statement is uh, there are a lot of secularism in the entertainment industry, Stop. Uh, and it's being combated by quality endeavors by Christians in the industry like Chance. My previous statement is you need to know more about Chance. Uh, you will fall in love with him because of his integrity and his love for his hometown of Chicago. Um, the first main point is uh, the social problem I'm trying to resolve is that people, specifically Christians, don't know about Chance the Person. They might know about Chance the Rapper, kind of, but they don't know about Chance the Person. Um, so the first thing uh, is his Grammy performance was crazy because he had people praising Jesus at the Grammys, which is crazy. Like, I watched it this morning again, and I cried. It was so pretty. Um, and uh, when Master MD, Master Duquet, uh, played, um, played it on the board, uh, Sydney said something like, I thought this was a Christian school. Why are we watching a rapper? You definitely that. said that. And it broke my heart. Because, uh, like, not only did that mean, like, you didn't know him, but you didn't know, like, about him and what he was all about. So this is just for me. Yeah, I did this for you. I told you to come after me in class, and then you never said anything. So this is why I'm here. Um, Chance is important, <laughs> Chance is important and influential uh, to this generation. He's like Kanye with a conscience. Um, you'll hear more from him, so I want you to be in the loop uh, going forward, and that's why I'm telling you about him. So in the future, you'll be like, oh, Chance, that's the guy that Kanye likes that he talked about. Um, so next, my next point, main point, is uh, remedy, I'm going to remedy you of not knowing about Chance by telling you more, and you're going to fall in love with him because of his integrity and his uh, love for Chicago. Um, so the sub point is Christian values and hard work that he, that he brings to everything he does. Uh, praising, praising at the Grammys, I said that already. Um, uh, and he, it's just, that's crazy that he did that. Um, uh, so the next point is uh, from hiphopdx.com. Uh, he did an interview with them, and this is a quote from him. I think it's mad important for the American dream to exist and work for people to believe in a homegrown and grassroots business. Everything that I do is part of my own business. I think in doing so as an independent artist, it gives some stake back into the music industry. Um, so he doesn't have a label, and um, so everything is 100% him. It goes through him. There's no restrictions. Um, so he does it all by himself. And uh, freedom or independence doesn't mean doing it by yourself, but it means freedom from the restrictions of a label. Um, he loves the fans. So uh, since he doesn't have a label, he uh, he relies on his fans to do the grassroots thing, like he said in the, in the quote. Um, so fans like me talk about him as much as I can, and uh, like tweet about it, and that's how it gets around. Uh, not by a label, because he doesn't have a label. Um, and he loves his fans for that, and he does, uh, for his upcoming tour, uh, he's doing a meet and greet for only $75, which is crazy, because you can meet him for $75, that's just nuts. And you can play rock, paper, scissors with him, because that's, that's like what the package is called, the rock, paper, scissors package. Um, yeah. So the second uh, sub-main point is uh, he has a social, uh, he has an organi organization called Social Works. Um, he took kids on field trips, uh, according to MVT, MV, MTV News. Um, he took uh, kids from Chicago public schools and took them to museums on a field trip. And he donated $1 million to Chicago public schools 
uh, through his organization, and that's amazing. He, did, he doesn't have to do that. Um, uh, children, uh, this, is, this is something that why uh, God likes this. Um, <laughs> Psalms 127.3 says, uh, Children are a gift from the Lord, they're a real blessing. So he, by chance, taking care of his hometown and, his, and the kids in his hometown, um, he's, he's glorifying God. Finally, um, uh, to summarize, he's invading secular industry, entertainment, with Christian and uh, with Christian values and integrity and love for his hometown of Chicago. Um, my call to action is uh, go listen to Coloring Book. It's free on anything: Apple Music, SoundCloud, Spotify, um, and go to ChanceRaps.com to uh, you could um, donate to Chicago Public Schools through there. Uh, thank you very much. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, listen to the uh, color book on your drive. Uh, yeah, you so that's perfect. Yeah, that's very incorporated in that. <laughs> okay, let me just first of all clarify what I actually said. Yeah. I said I asked the question. So by him, um, like leading worship or whatever he did, I don't really, I, I haven't seen it except what I saw. Is that a good example? Golly, is he a good example of what a real Christian like should look like or should like act? Does he portray the Christian?